I'm using this spark plug and Rock Auto seems to have the best price. Only buy these spark plugs from reputable store as there are too many fake sellers out there. Okay, so the trick is you want to go in here like that. Okay, raise that and it's not going to come out immediately. So you want to go underneath the bottom piece and pry that up, okay? Just pop off, it's one, two, three, four. Well, there's one in the back, don't forget that one. Pop that off. And then this is the mass airflow sensor. So you can push down here. I couldn't get it to push down with the rubber on, so I peeled the back and then push down on this, okay? And I was able to get it out. Uh, this is 10 millimeter. This is also 10 millimeter. I've already loosened those, okay? Uh, this one was a little bit stubborn. Uh, you know, this, you can just squeeze this with hand. And I had to use a screwdriver here to kind of pry away uh, this rubber hose here. So that's how this you don't have to remove because it's not, it's just attached to this uh, intake uh, tube here. So we're gonna leave that there. And then if you come around here, um, I disconnected this, okay? So you just push down on this section here and pull it out, except mine is uh, old. So this tab literally broke off, okay? Uh, so you can pull this out, uh, but I just noticed something. You see this clip? It's uh, you can squeeze and it'll expand. It gets, uh, it goes in there. So just use a, a small plier, long nose plier and squeeze those two. And then you can pull it out. There's a, a little hole there. You can just pull it out of there. I think if you pull it out of there, you may not need to uh, disconnect this because, you know, if your car is as old as mine, uh, your tab may break also. So, but it seems to fit tightly. Uh, so I think it's gonna be okay. If I have to, I guess some uh, high temperature electrical tape or something, uh, if that gives me trouble. Okay, so that's out. So everything is all loosened. Basically, your ignition coils, three, are underneath this, okay? So we need to remove this to be able to access the ignition coil and the spark plug uh, underneath. So this is all loose. So I should be able to uh, pull it out. Now, oh, notice here, your mass airflow sensor uh, wiring harness. Uh, it's, uh, it's kind of uh, placed into this, uh, a little slot here, right here. So you just, you know, slide that out. Be careful with this, okay? That's a very sensitive, uh, part of the car. So you got mass airflow sensor in here. So don't be dropping this and throwing around. Okay, so that's out and, uh, everything is removed for this to come out i've already loosened this 10 millimeter like i said okay came out if you guys remember this is where i went in and cleaned the uh the intake throttle valve wow it's already dirty so i guess i'll clean that before i put everything back again Okay, now, okay, this one is back there, but I think it's gonna be okay. Maybe, oh, that one comes out. I just pulled it out of there. So now I can, uh, I can kind of swivel back, get that out of the way. And I think all the wiring harness is accessible. I don't want to break the tab, so let me use two hands here. 
All right, so the trick to getting these things out, um, you don't wanna break it, right? What I do is I get a kind of a wide, big screwdriver in here and just kind of rotate it. Uh, I'm gonna press down on it and then rotate it. You heard the pop came out. So it's uh, kind of deforming as I'm trying to get it out. So I'm gonna be very careful. Okay, it popped. Don't worry about uh, crossing the wires because these are just long enough to go to the right uh, ignition coil. So this other one is a little bit tricky because it's lower. All right, so I got it to pop out. All right, so that's out. Before I put this back, I'm gonna actually uh, use the electronic parts cleaner and spray out these uh, uh, connectors. By the way, if you look down in there, you see I have like a sand and dirt and other debris uh, around the uh, ignition coil. What I don't want to do is uh, drop those into the, uh, the spark plug hole, okay? So, I'm gonna use this uh, air spray. Oh, okay, wear glasses when you do this. It just shot up in my eyes. Good thing I, I was wearing glasses. Okay, next is, uh, I think all these are 10 millimeter, yep. Bolt's gonna look like that. Okay, at least the uh, ignition coil is coming out easily. So what I'll do is uh, I'll use the uh, electric uh, parts cleaner and uh, the clean the inside and these uh, connectors there. When you take this out, in theory, you can put it back wherever because they're all the same parts. Uh, but I think it's safer um, if you keep uh, labeling it, right? This is the first one here. I think that's uh, piston number one. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Just gotta pull it out. Looks like this wiring harness here is pinching the uh, the ignition coil here, so let me push down a little bit. Get that out. So you're gonna need a five eighth inch socket. and a long extension. And I have a 3 8 inch ratchet here. So, uh, try not to cross thread it, meaning uh, try to keep it straight as you're taking this out. Actually, there wasn't much of a pressure. I expected a little bit of uh, resistance, but I didn't hardly feel much resistance. Okay, now, let me see. Assuming this is the original, uh, there's definitely uh, some build up there. It looks to be similar condition as the other ones, the other one that I took out. That's the part number. And this one, as you can see, um, the oil is getting up and out of there. 
So for now, I'm just gonna keep them together. Okay, so this is the front of the car. I'm gonna keep all the, uh, the six plugs in the position where they came out. This is the one from the back. Uh, no oil in this one. So lifting the wiring harness out of the three bolts, that'll help to give a little bit more slack to move it around. But even then, it's a pretty tight access to remove all three driver side ignition coils. Same thing for that one. And this one here. Okay, so I got the uh, all three connectors disconnected. So the trick was this, um, I use this, uh, you see how much wider it is compared to the uh, screwdriver. So I use this while I'm holding down, pressing down on the, uh, the tab, I wedge this right at the tip of the, the connector and just kind of spun it, you know, spinning it forces the the tap connector down, right? So I was able to get at it and same concept for all three. Okay, so I got two 12 millimeter bolts removed from there and from down there. They look like this. And what that does is, you see, that's allowing, not a lot, but maybe you get another inch inches a lot right now so there so I think for the middle one maybe I go the other way I push the wiring harness up and then pull this out I'm gonna push it inward and up upward let me see if I rotate it. it, might give me better angle. Okay, just a little bit more. Oh. Okay, so you guys got the idea, right? So that's what you're gonna have to do. Just move things out of the way. There's the connector. Let me see, I might have to move this one out. I don't see a space here where they can come out, so. Oh, thank God, this one didn't break. <laughs> I still don't see enough room for that to come out, so I'm gonna loosen. There's another 10 meter bolt right behind this. I'm gonna loosen that just to rotate this down a little bit. Okay, to get at that bolt, I'm gonna have to pull this out. Okay. Maybe I don't have to take out that last bolt. Uh, it's loosened, so maybe it'll rotate. Okay, there you go. Uh, let me see. If I can just force the wire up a little bit. If I can. Uh, oh my God. I just need a. Uh, just need another quarter inch. All right, let me see if I can uh, take out that clip. Usually I have very little success uh, with these clips salvaging them because they get crushed.
yeah, these things, they get crushed, and then, ideally, is you gotta squeeze both ends while trying to You see that clip inside? It comes down like a wide uh, M, you know, like a letter M with the both ends of the letter, like, you know, stretched to the outward. So that's, so it, it you slide in and then it stretches out outward. So that's what holds it in place. So I have to squeeze the outer ends in, get it to be straight up and down M, you know, and then it will come out of the hole. But, so that's why you need a, uh, uh, kind of like a 90 degree uh, nose clip like this to go in there. Okay, so I got that to come out. So if you can see, this, if you squeeze both ends actually, you can't pull it out, right? Because you're you're holding it with the uh, nose plier. Uh, so you just gotta push one end in, okay? And they usually get crushed and don't wanna come back out, but I think it's, it's still intact, so I can put it back in. So the ideal is squeeze the one on the left, right? And then you wanna pull on the wire on this side. So you're, you're not pulling it out straight, but you're just trying to get this left edge to start to come out <clears throat> and then it will come out okay so with that out you can see i got a little bit more movement so actually had i done that before uh actually here i haven't taken out the the middle one yet so that should help with taking out the middle one uh as well okay so i'm gonna lift up and get that out of the way there, there you go. Uh, don't tell me I need a, another quarter inch after I got a quarter inch. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, now the middle one. Push this down. Oh yeah, I should have enough room to get this out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Remember, there's a rubber O-ring. Uh, the other ones, this one came out with it. This one didn't, okay? So make sure you keep that together. I don't know if this was replaced. Looking at the age, condition of the spark plug, it doesn't look like it. I don't know, by act of trying to loosen it in a bad angle, I don't know if I caused a slight cross threading or maybe it was just on there real tight, unlike the other ones. Uh, this one is, uh, I see a lot of oil. This one, I see oil coming up out of the spark plug. So we'll see with the bore scope. Um, it's supposed to be torqued to close to 20, like I said, but all the other four felt like it was not torqued at all. So uh, this one also has uh, uh, a little bit of oil, not as much as the one in the middle. So let's go look at it with the bore scope. All right, so I got my bore scope. You can see here, I'm recording the screen here. I see oil on this one outside of the uh, spark plug hole. Like I said, I, I think the, uh, the spark plug just didn't feel like it was tight enough. So I'm gonna have to check the torque spec and uh, 
when I put this back in, uh, try to get it uh, properly tightened. Now, let me see if there's anything else going on inside here. Yeah, already you can start to see the uh, carbon buildup around the uh, spark plug threads. All right, going in. Wow, this one is pretty bad also. This one I can see top of the piston a little bit, but the edges, edges of the piston is, uh, wow. It's, uh, Pretty heavy carbon buildup there. Okay, now I'm going to the back one here. Uh, as you can see on this one, um, I guess there's a little bit of oil, not as much as the other one. I don't know if that's oil or carbon. It looks like oil. Let me go in. This one looks very similar. This one looks very similar to the uh, the middle one. Take a look at the first one again. Yeah, definitely. In terms of the overall carbon deposit, the first one is the worst. entire piston top is covered on this one at least on these two um, I can see some of the uh, the piston tops okay see what I got going here I'm about to go in there with the force go uh, one thing I want to <laughs> you see what I mean I got the camera holder against the, the hood so I was standing here you know trying to get you guys the video shot and I'm constantly bumping into this so that's why the camera was shaking I apologize for that now let's take a look over here see I got all the uh, this is the front of the car I got everything all lined up together the plugs are inside on those two Okay, labeled it. Uh, old plugs are not gonna go back, but I kept the number so I can study them to see if there's any uh, uh, problems. Also, I was working to remove the, uh, the platinum cover so these things are actually kind of loose. I temporarily just hand tightened the bolts back. Um, so don't pay attention to that. That's I'm gonna go clean the uh, carbon on the intake. So right now I'm just trying to get you guys the video for the uh, the spark plug and more importantly the view into the uh, borescope view into the uh, cylinder. So my wife is gonna come help me. Okay. 
So I'm gonna leave that there so you guys can kind of see what's going on. Okay, I'm going in on the first one and I gotta straighten out this. Okay, I'm going in. Okay. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm scared. This is the uh, piston. At least on this one, I can see, uh, well, on one edge. Let me see if I can spin it around a little bit. Um, I see some surface on this one. On the other side, it was like 100% dark everywhere. So this is the left front. Okay. I would say it's it's bad, but it's it's better than the, the right front. Okay. And let me come out of the spark plug hole slowly. As you can see, I didn't see much oil. I don't remember on this one. So it's it's decent, decently clean. But the threads, you can see it's a little bit gunked up. So I'll figure out a way. Wow, well, is there a way? Anyway, if I, if I can figure out a way to clean that a little bit. Oh, wait, I'm gonna clean the cylinder head somehow. So maybe I'll clean the threads uh, then. Okay, so this is the middle one now. Wow, you can see, you can see all throughout the, uh, the chamber here, the oil is everywhere. So oil was uh, getting past the spark plug, okay? And we saw that on the spark plug too, right? So, hmm. Wow, you can, look, you can see a lot of oil deposits still in there. Okay, I'm going into the piston. Goodness, let me see if I can spin this around. Um. You know, I have limited control at the uh, camera end of it because it's the end of a long wire, so I can't get it to point where I want but you can see this one seems to have a lot more oil deposits here okay yeah look at that okay now moving on to the last one remember this one also had oil Hmm, look at this one. The, there's a lot of dark spots. Oh, maybe it was just the camera. Well, okay. This one is not as bad as the middle one. The oil, we don't see as much oil, but nevertheless, you can still see some yellow oil stains as we get closer to the spark plug hole first one we didn't see that um, actually here it's not too bad just a little bit of a oil stain there uh, let's see if I can okay now I'm going into the spark plug hole actually this one, 
Oh, I know what's going on. Because of the the height of the cylinder head, right? Depending on the crankshaft position, some are down further low and some are up high. So the ones that are high, it's it's harder for me to get a, a wider view. Um, and I think this one, the uh, the piston is down, so it's allowing me to get a, a wider view. So you can see this one a uh, little bit right now. You can see some of the piston head that is not carboned up yet. It looks a little rusty color, but yeah. So this is probably the best camera angle view. And I would imagine other ones are uh, similar, you know, with slight differences. So yeah, it's gunked up everywhere. The trick is I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna clean this. Uh, it's way down in there. So I'm gonna have, probably have to do some kind of uh, solution soaking. And then I don't know if, if I can get a very thin straw like uh, vacuum hose that I can connect to my uh, shop vac to suck out the uh, you know the remaining uh, solution or okay so uh, That's the bore scope. So, um, because I'm working on multiple things, uh, I don't want to put, you see the amount of work I had to go through uh, to get all the plugs out. I don't want to just put that back in. Uh, I'm going to figure out a way to actually clean the, uh, the spark plug, I'm sorry, the piston heads first before I do that. But I'm going to, I'm going to release the video just on, you know, how to get everything out in terms of the, the spark plugs. I also cleaned this intake throttle valve. I don't know exactly, but let's just say about 10K miles ago. And you can see it's uh, already gunked up. And in order to get at the, uh, the intake valves, I have to remove this, uh, which is great, because that'll give me opportunity to uh, do a deep cleaning of this. So I'll have a separate video on that. Like I said, I'll have to remove the platinum cover here. And underneath here is the intake metal fold. So I'll have to remove that. And then I can finally get at the uh, intake valves. Um, minimally, let's, let's just see what I can do, okay? If it's something I can clean. I did order a, a nice uh, clean solution. Uh, that seems to have really good results. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I did buy the uh, the clean brushes, you know, to reach in to clean the uh, the intake uh, valve carbons. And so anyway, I'll do a, a before and after uh, bore scope view of intake valve cleaning, uh, assuming you know, regardless whether I succeed or not. Anyway, I got number of videos coming up. Uh, this is going to be a series of uh, work. My uh, Good thing I got extra car here, uh, Mirano, so I can drive that. I'm going to leave this open and continue to work on this car. So.